Hey guys, it's Kim Dow here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So I just wanted to take some time out to sit here and chat to you guys and tell you guys what's going on because, okay, just hear me out. So you know how I went back to Perth just a couple of weeks ago to see my family and friends for Easter? I know I just went back, but I have to go back again tonight. So I haven't started packing yet. You guys know me. I'll pack like, you know, last minute, but I'm leaving in about like two and a half hours so I still got time but I know it is not a good time to go back to Perth right now because unfortunately COVID has hit Perth and it's not bad like it's I mean in Australia when we get like one case we freak out um, and cities have locked down over one case before it's just not ideal to go back at this time but I do have a good reason to go back so I'm going to be telling you guys and explaining myself. Since the start of the pandemic, Perth has been living pretty much a COVID free life. So in Sydney, like it's COVID free here. Uh, we don't have to wear masks anymore when we go out. Uh, everything is open. We don't have any community cases. So that's why we can go out and feel safe. But we only had this freedom, I guess, since January because we had the freedom for a bit. And then in December, we had cases again. And then we locked down for a little bit and then we opened up again in January because we had no cases but in Perth literally if like any other state have cases they just close the borders to them so for pretty much the whole of last year Perth had their borders closed to everyone in Australia so even if you were in Australia you couldn't fly back if you were in a different state you had to have a really good reason as to why you were flying to Perth so I could not see my family and friends for over a year that's why for Easter I rushed over because I was scared like just in case cases come up again in Sydney then you know I'd be locked out again and I was really desperate to see Yuki so I flew back and had an amazing time. Now for Perth, they haven't been doing so great over the past two weeks. So basically what happened was, well, whenever people come from overseas, back from overseas to Australia, they have to hotel quarantine for two weeks. And then unfortunately, um, cases have leaked out of the hotel quarantine. So I believe for one person, he caught it because the person staying next door to him in the hotel, had COVID and then spread to him and then he had no symptoms so he didn't know and then I think he started feeling sick so then he got tested and he was positive um, and he went to like a lot of places in Perth so like basically Perth locked down for a couple of days and luckily it only spread to like one other person spread to his friend and then just on Saturday um, more COVID cases came up from hotel quarantine again but it's not related to this guy so the reason why I've been so stressed out was because I wanted to fly back to Perth like ASAP because I got some news on Saturday. On Saturday, I got an email from a breeder I've been talking to in Perth and she told me that um, pretty much someone was supposed to pick up this puppy, but then they canceled and she asked me if I was interested. So she sent me photos um, of the puppy, the parents. She also sent me the pedigree. I looked at it and it was great. Um, the puppy is so freaking cute. She's a black and tan Shiba Inu. So actually Eric and I wanted a black and tan Shiba Inu from the very start. But then we realized that it was really hard to get one um, because it's more rare than the standard red color. So we decided to give up and go for the red Shiba Inu. And yeah, I mean, it was still really hard to get and we still weren't able to get one. But it just so happened the one that is available is a black and tan one so we were like oh my gosh that is so lucky so for the past few days i've been super stressed because eric and i actually booked tickets to go back to perth like in exactly one month from now but the problem is if we have a puppy that's like you know 12 weeks old we can't exactly just leave it for two weeks and go off and travel because like this is like the most crucial time to train and bond with the puppy so we decided to move our trip up to today so we can go back to Perth, pick up the puppy ourselves, um, spend like two weeks in Perth with the puppy and then fly the puppy with us back to Sydney. So the lucky thing is the breeder actually has a business flying um, pets abroad, interstate, stuff like that. So we asked her if she can help us plan to um, get our dog to go back to Sydney on the same flight as us. So that worked out really well. So we were all good to go, we're ready to book, and then suddenly COVID cases came up and we were like, oh my God. So if Perth goes into a lockdown, like, you know, what do we do? So, okay, 
we decided to wait for a couple of days to see if Perth would lock down because the Premier of Perth was like, yeah, we might go into lockdown um, and you know they need to assess the situation to see. Luckily, uh, for the next couple of days, there were zero community cases, so Perth was not going to lockdown. Fingers crossed that they don't go into lockdown when we're in Perth, but so far it seems to be under control. So we literally just changed our tickets yesterday when we found out Perth wasn't going into a lockdown. Um, but we have decided like, look, worst case scenario, if Perth goes into a lockdown and if we go back to Sydney and we have to quarantine for two weeks, we were just going to stay in Perth and just work from home in Perth. So the situation gets better, then we'll fly back to Sydney. But I think it should be fine. So in today's vlog, I am going to be packing my bags once again to go back to Perth. And I mean, it's going to be really good to go back because um, when I left Perth last time, a few days later, my sister got engaged. So that's going to be very exciting. I'm going to be doing an engagement photo shoot for her this weekend. And yeah, it would just be great to spend time with family and friends again. Eric has not been back in over a year. So that's going to be very exciting for him. We are going to be picking up our puppy tomorrow. So oh, I'm like really, really, really excited. But also to be honest, like a little bit nervous at the same time because our lives are going to change guys. So the puppy is going to be staying with me and my parents and I just hope Yuki's going to be okay. Like I just hope she doesn't get mad at me. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Like what if she gets really mad at me and hates me but um it should be okay like i feel like it would be good because yuki can teach the puppy things and it'll be good for the puppy to socialize with yuki because the puppy won't be able to go to dog parks because she's not fully vaccinated yet she can only hang out with dogs that are fully vaccinated but anyway um i just wanted to tell you guys what's been going on because um yeah i haven't actually vlogged in a while i took some time off because of all this stuff happening um and yeah now that i'm going back i'm like oh my gosh this is just insane so i'm gonna pack i'm gonna show you guys what we have done to prepare for the puppy as well over the weekend we got the safety gate for the puppy so it just opens and closes very easily so this is actually chloe's bed but she doesn't use it anymore so the owner was like hey um it's kind of a waste because she doesn't use it so maybe we can give it to your new puppy and i was like okay sure so we just cleaned it on the weekend so it's ready for the shiba inu oh and we actually just got our coffee table like last week as well so we're gonna be packing our bags now i gotta figure out what clothes to bring over to perth so i'm actually thinking of bringing over these dresses because my sister is going to be doing her engagement photo shoot I told her that i would bring over some outfits for her so this is a dress from camilla which is really beautiful i saw the tags on it um but i feel like this would look really good because my sister's favorite color is blue i thought maybe this jacket would be nice i got this on yes style maybe this one I got this in Korea a couple of years ago and I really like it, it's so beautiful. I think she would like this as well. I mean like, it'll be for my sister, but then at the same time I can also wear that stuff too. This dress is also really nice. I got this a while ago in Yesta. If you put a bit on it, it'll be really beautiful. Now in Perth, it's going to be a bit more chilly this time around. So, what should I bring? Hmm. I should bring more sweaters, I think. bag's gonna be pretty empty hey yours is empty because I like, this is all I want to bring for clothes I don't want to bring that many I've got like a bunch of dresses yeah but I'm not gonna bring I'm only gonna bring sneakers and like thongs and that's it that's all you need right because we're not going anywhere fancy oh maybe boots hey yeah oh guys I just wanted to show you so like a couple of weekends ago I went shopping at Bondi we've got a car now we can finally go and explore other places and i went to tory birch and i got this cardigan i really wanted to show you guys so my friend has this cardigan and i love it so much i could not stop looking at it so when we went into the store together i was like oh i just could not keep my eyes off it so i ended up getting it for myself so let me show you guys this is the cardigan isn't it beautiful <laughs> It's dropped it. Isn't it beautiful? I love how on the inside it's got this pattern. It's so beautiful and I love these buttons. Oh, it's just so nice.
back so soon. Oh, Yuki, she's so happy. I got a present for you. What is this? Yuki, hey, no, 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 no not in there. Yuki, here. What is this? Donuts. Oh, she loves it. Yuki's like climbed into my suitcase. You gobbled up those trees, didn't you? I can't give you any more though. I'm not going to overfeed you. So if you want more, you have to wait till tomorrow. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it is like almost one o'clock in the morning now. I just spent like most of my time catching up with my family. And yeah, it was just very sudden this trip because we didn't expect to come back. Well, I didn't expect to come back so soon. I was expecting to come back like next month. We changed our tickets just yesterday and told like all of our friends, yeah, we're flying to Perth tomorrow. So everyone was like, what? Um, so yeah, we don't really have many plans here. So guys, I think I'm going to end this video here just because... <laughs> Yeah, tomorrow is going to be the big day and I want to um, dedicate a video to our new puppy's first day with us. So thank you so much guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it was very sudden. Um, hopefully you enjoyed Yuki too. She's so tired. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. And I'll see you